Hello, and welcome back to Lord Fat Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights and Hatch Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fat, and today's Neverwinter Night and Hatch Edition video, we're going to assassinate High Captain Barum. Oh, yes, we're going to be uh, taking care of one of the High Captains in this video here. We're also going to advance the story. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night content like this, and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated my videos and more. Now, last video, we did some Luskin side quests. This one, we're actually going to finish one in this video. And we're going to kill High Captain Barum. So let's go ahead right now and speak with our uh, spy master. It is good to see you at last, my friend. I fear I have terrible news. It seems that the good lady Erebeth has disappeared. We can find no trace of her. The lady paladin had been quite silent since you left port last. I thought, perhaps, that she had found contentment now that the cult was located. So my eye was not as close upon her as it might otherwise have been. Regardless, she used considerable skill to vanish without notice some time after our arrival in the city. All of her gear and armor is gone as well. She prepared well and left of her own volition, though I can scarce believe it. She has not returned to Neverwinter. Part of me wonders if... if perhaps she seeks to exact her own brand of vengeance upon the cultists. I cannot be certain. Erebeth was acting so strangely before her disappearance. She had an icy calm. As if the Lady Paladin had accepted an unpleasant fate. I worry for her safety. She is not in her right mind, I fear. Your most important task is to find your way into the host tower, my friend. The cult must be dealt with. If you find Erebeth there, all the better. If she is not, a true search will have to wait until after your own mission is complete, no matter how much we might wish otherwise. So then, let us discuss your mission. The tower lies on an island, reachable by a bridge on the northeastern shore. There are rumors of other entrances, but I have been able to find none. The bridge, however, is guarded well by both armsmen and sorcery. The wizards of the Arcane Brotherhood value their privacy. Little enough, if the truth be told. The wizards search diligently for spies at every turn, so I receive only questionable news from outside the tower itself. It is known, however, that the Arcane Brotherhood are the true power in Luskin. The High Captains rule the city, but only with the wizards leave. How the cult gained its foothold there can only be guessed at. The wizards may be allies, or indeed even members of their cause. If you do gain entrance, use extreme caution and find out all you can about their plans. Assaulting them directly may not be an option. I believe I know of a way, though it is a risky path to say the least. The bridge to the tower's island is guarded by magic that is not easily bypassed. Those who wish admittance to the tower must be granted the proper pass by the wizards. Papers which are affixed with a magical seal that allows the possessor to pass unhindered by the wards. Unfortunately, the only persons which I am sure possess such a pass are the High Captains themselves. If you were somehow to acquire one of these documents for me, with its seal, I could easily use it to forge a similar pass for you. Go then, and do what you must. I wish you success. Now we got ourselves the uh, story being advanced here. Arabeth went missing, so we have to go look for her. Now, the reason why I did not do it outside of here, well, this guy kept on spawning here. And for introductions, it would have been rude. Still, we're going to kill him right here. And first of all, uh, we're going to visit High Captain Kurtz. Yeah, that guy. We're going to visit him because he's going to give us the assassination mission to kill High Captain Barum. We're going to do just that, so... We're going to go over here. Kurt's men will attack us. And we're going to take care of them right now. Oh, 
Okay, we got attacked by High Captain Kurtzman here, and guess what? We're gonna actually going to do is uh, talk to uh, this High Captain here. He's going to give us a uh, quest to actually kill uh, High Captain Baron. We're going to do it. Greetings, stranger. You've been rather the troublemaker, haven't you? You've cut through my men rather efficiently. I can respect that. Now we have gotten ourselves to assassinate the High Captain Baron quest. So uh, High Captain Kurtz will promise we'll bring the Elven sister, who the uh, one elf at the uh, inn wants back, his sister. Hopefully he does hold the end of the bargain here. If not, we're going to invade the territory. So what we're going to do right now is go into uh, High Captain Baron's sewers here. That's the first step before getting to uh, Baron's hideout. Yeah, that's two things we're going to do in this video here. Of, of involving a uh, barum here, which is uh, actually very good. This is like a little bit of a long uh, walk here. Yeah, you'll see why it's a little bit long, but still it is totally uh, worth it. We're uh, killing one of the high captains, grabbing his seal here, here which is uh, really uh, good. So let's go over here, but before we do anything else, let's clear out this uh, area first. Now, once we get inside, High Captain Baron will offer us the same deal to kill High Captain Kurth. We're not going to do it. Instead, we're going to go in. It's good that you've decided to speak with me. My name be Baron, the one and only true High Captain of Luska. You'll have to excuse me for speaking to you through an illusion. The way you cut through me, man, one can't be too careful. It is time to invade a pirate's territory, a high captain pirate territory. Yeah, this guy we're gonna invade. Hi, Captain Barum is not going to be happy with us. You know what? Who cares? We're going to kill him, get his head, and uh, Kurt here will actually will enjoy that. Plus, he better hold his end of the bargain by releasing the elven lass he has captured. Yeah, he better ju uh, straight up do that. I'm going to go here, explore, destroy everything I can. Yeah, because I'm grabbing some loot. Yeah, see, we already got some gold here. I got enough money to actually get through the uh, campaign, so let's go ahead and clear out more uh, foes.
All right, we gain a level right here. This is a uh, great right here. Undeads and were rats. Thank you very much for uh, doing that. So let me uh, go ahead and uh, set up my uh, leveling up right now. Red Dragon Disciple. We're still going to do Discipline Heal. And let's see what else. Persuade. I want to be the uh, Talker. Two points in Tumble in case I do. Or I'll just leave that alone for uh, Tumble. And that's it right there. Now next up we're going to do right now exactly is we're going to kill Yanti. Yeah, another one of those. It's like the one in Chapter 1, but she's a little bit weaker and much more uh, fun to kill. Seriously, she is much more fun to kill. Once you get rid of her, you get to enter the hideout, which is very uh, neat. This is a uh, great right here. We defeated her. She is dead. Yeah, seriously, she is dead. Now we got ourselves a note right here, and oh boy, this was a test. Yeah, they uh, beta tested the uh, undead stuff in Neverwinter. Now they just uh, perfect it somewhat. And Margrim is a name right here. And what I did right now was make a save. Now we have to turn off the uh, undead making device. So you know what? Let's go ahead and start the uh, process. You know what, it's just time to go over here and uh, take out those skeletons. Yeah, it's part of the uh, process here. Before we do any of that, all I want to do is just look around really quick since they are not attacking us and grab some loot. Yeah, we're going to do that before actually assaulting the uh, skeletons here because that's our uh, job. We're uh, taking care of the undead. Yeah, that's how we uh, roll in this game here, everybody. We kill many undead as humanly possible unless our character is undead itself. Then, yeah, that's like a toss-up. I'll call it case by case if my character ever becomes undead. Yeah, in other words, they attack me if I'm, if I'm undead. Yeah, I attack them. If they leave me alone, they're cool. I kind of like that one ghoul from the uh, last uh, video who was friendly. I kind of wish there was more of them, but still, we're going to loot uh, some uh, goodies up. Now we're going to assault some of these skeletons here, and let's go ahead and do this uh, now. Now, every time when you destroy a bunch of undead surrounding this area here like this, the one of the vices is gone. You need to destroy both of them. It kind of reminds me of a famous quote. Every time when someone farts, an angel gets its wings. Oh, wait, no. It's every time when someone farts, a demon gets its wings. Very famous quote. I'll let everybody look that up. So now that is done right here. And what we're going to do next besides grabbing that critical heal potion is we're going to kill this uh, one foe right here. She is so angry at us.
you know what? Why are we at it? Let's do the side quest nine lives right here while Lin Lu is busy. This is very simple. We have to go go ahead and clear out some spiders and let's do this right now. This is a uh, good right here. So many spiders dead. Now let's go ahead and uh, open up these uh, cocoons here and see what's uh, going on with uh, them exactly. I do not know what to say. I can't crack a joke. This is like really uh, sad here. This is really uh, terrible. Oh, children. Yeah. I Captain Barum's going to die definitely. What I have to do right now is go ahead and clear the other side here. Let's go ahead and uh, give a rip to the children who uh, died here and get some revenge. Time for some serious payback. Just follow the path I am going right here. We're going to do like we did on the other side. Go ahead, clear a bunch of foes, and disrupt the undead making uh, process. Let's do this now. No quarter! This is too much to carry. Now, you see these tombs right here after we uh, kill so many undead? Yeah, what? We're going to go ahead and destroy them. Yep, it's going to take a little bit. Just keep on doing that. Both of them, there's one down. I tried to destroy the altar too, but yeah, that didn't work. So what we're going to do right now is exactly wreck everything. Yeah, we might as well stop uh, Barum's plan of, of summoning the dead part two. Yeah, something tells me he uh, gave the go-ahead to that Yanti to do her... Uh, Dirty work in um, Neverwinter. And look at that. Look at the destruction go. Look like someone uh, gained their wings. Yep. They definitely did. So now that is done over with. What we're going to have to do is clear this room out. Let's go ahead and uh, do this right now. After we uh, go ahead and loot some uh, things. Like this tooth right here. Yep. We got this uh, tooth. So let's uh, loot this up too. Alright. Another uh, critical heal uh, potion. This is uh, good right here. Let's bless up. There you go. And let's go ahead and kill this foe right up ahead because it is so much fun to do this. There we go. We uh, done it. Yep. No more spawning undead. There's a key right here. 
by killing the last one here. We got ourselves a nice key here. Hi, Captain Barum's going to die definitely now because so many things he did bad, including killing children. Yeah, that is not cool at all. We'll go over through this door right here. Yeah, as soon as we go over there. Hi, Captain Barum's uh, best men right here will try to take us out, which is going to be no problem for us. Now, here's how this encounter goes with High Captain Barum here. There are two gargoyle statues you do need to destroy. Don't do like I did attempt to uh, Iron Man it by not destroying them. Otherwise, it'll be a long battle you'll see. Still, you destroy the two statues once you uh, do this. Then you uh, go after the High Captain Barum. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was an achievement to actually uh, destroy those statues. I didn't kind of look at the list at all. No. I went down that department, so all we need to do is uh, take out this guy here, destroy two statues like I said before, then take out this High Captain Barum, go loot his head, and turn in the Kurth right here. Also, we're going to turn in that 9 live side quest too. Let's go ahead and buff up. Once I am done buffing, we're going to get our revenge. This is for the children here. Yeah, those little uh, kids who've been killed. Yeah, it's payback time. Seriously, it is seriously to do some payback against this uh, evil pirate here. Yeah. Besides, never went to pirates, rule. Well, it looked like that child killer or children killer is uh, dead here. And we got the head here. We turned this into a High Captain Kurth here. He's going to give us his seal here. And we have to go into the ambassador's quarters here that is close by the uh, Arcane Host Tower. Yeah. The Arcane Host Wizards. Yeah. Those wizards in Luskin. They are the uh, true rulers of uh, the city of Luskin. Not the High Captain Pirates. No. It's them. It's always evil wizards. Yeah, you gotta get used to it. They had a Dungeon and Dragon movie, I think over uh, 20 years ago. I might be wrong on the date on this. That I ha actually had wizards as the bad guy, a whole group of them. Yeah, Jeremy Irons did play the role right. I did like that part in the movie, which was him. And of course, I strangely enough, I like the bad guys in the film. The misuse of the beholders was that. They briefly showed that. Oh, yeah, I forgot the dwarf was cool, too. Everybody else was like, eh. Yeah, but the second movie was better, though. Third movie sucked. But anyways, after you uh, destroy the statue you're supposed to destroy during combat, we're going to go ahead You go ahead and just uh, turn this in here. Seriously. Hi, Captain Kurth. Better uh, come through with us before we actually turn in the head. We're actually going to tell uh, the uh, noble at the uh, Cutlass Inn here the uh, bad news. Yeah, her children died. We got proof. Yeah, I don't want to deliver the bad news, I hate to say, but we have to uh, do it. 
it's our job. Good or bad, we have to deliver the news. I mean, this was like tragic here. I mean, it was like innocent children in Luskin. They got killed. I mean, come on. I mean, they're like innocent, but oh well. They're gone. Uh, hi, Captain Barum's dead. Rightfully so. So what we're going to do right now is get the heck out of here. Yeah, we're going to do uh, just that. Now here's a technical uh, tip for me on this uh, game here. Once in a while, if you zone in here on the Enhanced Edition, it will uh, crash. That's why I made a backup save at the start of this area here. Yeah, this game tends to uh, crash from time to time. Happens frequently when uh, patches do come out. Still, this is like a fun game, though. I, I love the Enhanced Edition. I'm seriously loving the uh, fun of, in it. It gives me an excuse to play this game again. Especially all three campaigns. Oh, I cannot wait for Shadows of Undertide. That's the next one, by the way, from me. Okay, yeah, that was a spoiler. Oh, wait, that's not a spoiler. I've been uh, saying that a few times in this Let's Play series. So, we're going to go into the Cutlass Inn. Hopefully, everything will be fine. And we'll console the uh, noble lady and just tell her, yeah, we uh, got revenge. We'll tell her that. We'll give her good news, at least. So, let's see what's going on. Looks like we smoked those foes here, which is a really a good. So what we're gonna do right now is go to the Cutlass Inn here. After uh, that foe was in the way, yeah, I went in the wrong building. Big ol' oops. That's the uh, wink and uh, tickle. Still, I'm learning the uh, Luskin uh, layout here again. Yeah, it's been uh, I think over uh, 15 plus years. I'm learning the uh, layout for that. So next stop is the Cutlass Inn here. Go ahead and talk to this NPC here. Give her the uh, bad news about her children here. Quest will be definitely uh, complete. Let's go ahead and just deliver the uh, bad news to her right now. Return? Have you found my children? Are they safe? Oh boy, she is running outside of Cutlass Inn here. Let's go ahead and follow her. Make sure she's all right. Oh boy. Oh wait, that is cold-blooded there. That is cold blood, it. but seriously, that was tragic. She lost her kids. She got outside the end. She died. Now, here's the next thing we're going to do before I actually turn the head. She did give us location to a uh, vault here in the sewers, and she gave us a key, though. That's why I'm going to show everybody to uh, go there. And, yeah, there's a few uh, trap chests here. Here's the thing about that, too. If you have Tom on your party, yeah, he could take care of business there. Tom is a great companion, believe it or not. He'll take care of those chests for you. Yeah, he will uh, definitely uh, do this for you. So we'll just follow the path I am going here. There's one area I did not fully explore in my uh, side quest uh, video playthrough here. This time I am actually. And there are no undeads because I have taken them out in the last video. Let's be honest here. That great cleave was fun. That was seriously fun to use here. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is uh, look for it, make sure it's in the right spot here. I'm going a little bit slow just in case there are traps. I sprang one in the last video, and yeah, that was kind of funny. Sometimes you spring stuff. It happens. I mean, yeah, it happens. So let's go over here. I believe it's down here. We're uh, close by. There's a door that is not able to uh, pick lock or uh, lock picking. It's only uh, accessible with the key that the uh, NPC gave you before she uh, died. And there's the chests right here. Yep, there they are. And it has random loot. Let's see if I could uh, take care of that. Okay, weapon ineffective. Ooh, that means one thing. Yeah, that's uh, going to be skipped. You should see those scorch marks there. That's an indicator right there. Yeah, and it's red. Okay, that is good uh, critical heal potion. 
Uh, that is not bad. Uh, it was a bum run, but oh well. I'll off screen sell it or something like that. Now, one more thing we're going to do is go back uh, to the surface and uh, speak with a uh, high captain uh, Kurth here. Yeah, we're going to go there, speak with him, deliver the head. He'll give us the one elf guy's uh, sister back. Hopefully, he does. Otherwise, I have to go invade his area. And I do want that seal from him. Yeah, I want that too. That's very important. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead and go on top side here. Yep, use this way. It leads you to the top too. And yeah, that uh, spit me out a little bit further than I should. But oh well, let's go ahead and take care of these uh, foes. Yeah, it's the same assassins, evil pirates, whatever you want to call them at this point, try to attack me. Nope, not this time. They just keep on constantly respawning like that. So next up, we're going into uh, High Captain Kurt's territory here beforehand. Well, look like these guys are trying to stop me from turning this head here. Yeah, that's just your standard uh, sword and board mundane. So next up, we're going to turn this into High Captain Kurth here. Get this one Elven Last here. Gear back plus get the seal. And I'll be it here. So let's go ahead and do this. Ah, so the stranger returns. So let me give everybody a lowdown after that betrayal right here. Even though we got the uh, High Captain Seal right here. We uh, kill High Captain Barum in his lair. We also uh, told this one uh, noble gal here the uh, bad news of her children for the nine life side quest. And she uh, died. We got some loot from it. Now our next video right here. High Captain Kurt's territory will now be invaded. And we're going to hit up the ruins there. This is it from my Neverwinter Night Enhanced Edition Chapter 2 Luskin Barum Sewers and Barum's Lair video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.